Ready? Let's do this. Me, <laughs> me. Uh, <gasps> Hey Kern County, Megan Pearson, your Director of Countywide Communications, and this week we are at the starting line, literally, at the Auto Club Famosa Raceway, uh, and that is because they are having the 28th annual California Hot Rod Reunion this weekend. It starts on Friday, October 25th, and it runs through Sunday, October 27th. Uh, if you want more information, you can check out the Auto Club Raceway's website, uh, and they'll have all the info you need about ticket prices and when the gates open, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Friday through Sunday. It's a really cool event, it's fun. This place will be packed. Uh, we wanna thank Blake Bowser and all of his staff for letting us uh, set up on their track today. Uh, so come check it out this weekend. Okay, our next event is happening up in Kernville. It's the Kernville Fall Festival and I bet the colors right now are amazing. They're doing it at Riverside Park uh, which is right there as you come into town. They'll have all sorts of fun stuff to do. It starts on Saturday, October 26th at 10 a.m. and it runs through Sunday uh, from nine until three. Uh, the admission is free and they're doing all sorts of great things. They'll have music, dog races, pumpkin patch, a chili cook-off. If you want more information, you can visit the Kernville Chamber of Commerce website. Our next event is at the Kern County Museum. It's the Kern County Museum Village Flea that takes place on Sunday, October 27th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. They'll have vendors uh, for antiques and collectibles, vintage clothing, art, uh, vintage home furnishings, lots of local artisan goods. Tickets are $5, children 10 and under are free. If you want more information about that event, you can check out the Kern County Museum's website. Okay, so this week we also have all the trunk or treats. Uh, they're going at every corner of the county. So uh, hang tight. I'm gonna actually just run through these really quickly and you can get all the information um, on their sites. So the first one is Friday, October 25th from five to seven. It's at the Kern County Sheriff's Office East Bakersfield substation. The next one is in Ridgecrest at the Kerr McGee Center. Um, that's on Saturday, October 26th from 4.30 to 6. 30 p.m. They're also showing a movie, so be sure to check that out. Fraser Park Library is having one as well, and that's on Saturday, October 26th from 3 to 6 p.m. Uh, again, that's in the Fraser Park Library. The Shafter Youth Center Fall Festival and Trunk or Treat is happening on Monday, October 28th from 6 to 8 p.m. And our last Trunk or Treat is happening in Oildale on Monday, October 28th at North Chester and Frontage Road from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. So again, there's a ton of trunk or treats happening over the next week. Be sure to check them out. They're a great event for the kids. They're safe and they're put on by your community members. So we strongly encourage you to check them out. Our last event is uh, put on by Employers Training Resource and it's the Kern County Education to Workforce Summit. Uh, it's happening Thursday, October 24th at the Doubletree from 7 a.m. to noon. This is a really great event. Um, again, it's a partnership between Employers Training Resource, Kern Community College District, and the Kern High School District. So they'll have all sorts of resources and then they're recognizing a few of our local students as well. So we suggest you go check that out. Um, if you need more information, you can visit their Eventbrite page and purchase your tickets there as well. That's this week around the county. Again, we want to thank the folks out at the Auto Club Famosa Raceway for letting us uh, shoot our video out here this week, thanks to Blake and his crew. And we hope you get out this weekend uh, and enjoy all Kern County has to offer, and we'll see you next week.